Right. Now, in this video, I should be looking at not the, the difficulty of the questions themselves, but the words, actual words or word used in the question, in this case, a word. Right. Now, when I read the question and I said to me, the, the first answer I got for uh, part one or part I is that X is less than or equal to five. Because if x is less than 5, say, suppose x is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1, and you can find the square root of, of, of 1. And if x is minus 1, for instance, 5 minus minus 1 will give you 6, and you can find the square root of 6. But x is, is less than or equal to 5 is not the answer. The answer is x is greater than 5. Because for the word cannot, the word cannot is invisible because the answer should actually be x cannot be greater than 5. Okay? And that's, that makes sense because if x is more than 5, uh, suppose x is 6, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, and we cannot find the square root of minus 1. And that makes sense. And if x is, say, um, Say 10, for instance, 5 minus 10 will give me minus 5. Again, similar uh, argument follows. For question 2, the actual answer should be, sorry, for subsection 2, the actual answer should be x cannot be equal to 3.5. Because if x is 3.5, 2 times 3.5 will give me 7. 7 minus 7 will give me 0, and we do not want 0 as the denominator. That is undefinable. I hope that I hope I'm making sense. Uh, for subsection three, we say x cannot be less than or equal to minus three. So let's take equal to minus three. So if x is equal to minus three, minus three plus three will give me zero, and we cannot have zero as a denominator. Okay, let's take x less than minus three. Suppose x is minus four, so Minus 4 plus 3 will give me minus 1, and we cannot find the square root of a negative number. So the actual answer should be x cannot be less than or equal to minus 3, because the word cannot. Okay? And for 4, subsection 4, we say here that x cannot have values between 2 and minus 2. Okay? So, suppose x is 0. Uh, 0 squared is 0, so the square root of minus 4 is undefinable. We cannot find the square root of minus 4. So that means that x cannot have values between uh, 2 and minus 2. Okay? Right. For subsection 5, we're saying that x cannot be 0 because if x is 0, 1 over 0 is undefinable. So we can't, x cannot be 0. For subsection 6, we're saying that x cannot be minus 2 over 3, because if x is minus 2 over 3, you're going to have minus 2 plus 2, and that will give me 0, and 1 over 0 is undefinable. You cannot have 0 as the denominator. And if x is uh, less than 3, suppose x is minus 2, minus Suppose x is 2, 2 minus 3 will give minus 1, and that will give me a negative square root. We, we cannot find it, the square root of a negative number. And if x is greater than or uh, equal to 6, suppose x is 6, 6 minus 6 is 0, and we cannot have 0 as a denominator. I hope all that makes sense, and I look forward to hearing from you again. Bye-bye now, and keep in touch. Bye-bye.